Okay. All right, onward to WrestleMania 20. <laughs> it's um, this this took place in uh, March of 2004 at uh, Madison Square Garden, New York. Yep. This was actually the first uh dub WrestleMania I ever saw like actually live on TV. Hmm. Because uh, I hadn't been into I hadn't, I hadn't been following wrestling for quite a long time, but a friend of mine at, at school I was I was in college at the time a friend of mine at school and I still am because I'm really really dumb but, <laughs> but no a friend of, a friend of mine at school at the time was big uh a uh, big wrestling fan so he would have like what well, get the pay per views and have people have a bunch of people over so I saw quite a few of them for a few years so I saw this right. one, I I did catch this one live huh. and what'd you think um I remember it being pretty good. Did you catch the uh, 2004 Royal Rumble? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Okay. So you had the honor of seeing the second person to uh, ever conquer the Royal Rumble from the number one spot. You mean the one that they don't talk about now? Yeah. It's <laughs> yes, weird because... Yes, I did. I saw, uh, I saw Chris Benoit's triumphant... <laughs> Royal Rumble. We'll, we'll say his name. Conquest of Royal Rumble. My favorite comment ever is on the WWE. Um, and of course, the he's, he's clip of Chris Benoit winning. And of course, and that that is, by the way, also the reason why the incredibly awesome main event match of WrestleMania 20 is not featured in this game. <laughs> That's why the WrestleMania 20 uh, matches we will be playing are John Cena versus Big Show, and I believe. Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar. Okay, Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar is was god awful, but the actual thing, at least, was god awful. I assume yeah, the historical match. objectives during that are, are like are just you know just mill around the ring doing nothing for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Be really bad. Absorb the absorb fan you. hostility. <laughs> get all the X Pac heat you can. <laughs> okay, I mean it's like okay, I I get why they can't have the triple threat match with. Tri you know, with Triple H, Shawn Michaels, and Chris Benoit. Okay, you know, obviously. Right, right. Obviously, D WWE has a has a World Wrestling Entertainment has a strict no no multiple murder policy. But yes. If you're gonna have like a second, like two matches, I mean, they they had this is this is this is one with the uh, Eddie Guerrero versus Kurt Angle match. Yeah. That, that was really good. I don't. I I do not get it. Well, if anything, I have to guess that they can't secure the rights to Angle, which is why they couldn't go with Guerrero. Really? Because he is in this game. Who is? He's unlockable. Guerrero? Yeah, but you unlock him. He's the only wrestler you unlock by doing something, doing like, um... Okay, but... Okay, so Angle's... Uh, yeah, he's the, he's the only one you unlock by doing exhibition matches. You have to beat Brock Lesnar on the hardest difficulty okay. in a one-on-one, -on -one, no holds barred match. So, so you, there might be some like legal issue with Kurt Angle. Yeah, like maybe they like they couldn't settle on the rights to use his image, okay. or he didn't want to agree to it or something. I do know part of the other reason is I'm fairly certain that Chris Benoit comes to celebrate with Eddie Guerrero. Yes, he did. When he, he did. when he wins the when he wins the title. Well, it's not like they had to. It's not like they had to recreate that in the game. I know. Well, you know. I guess it wouldn't be very true to form. But anyway, anyway so, so yeah, yeah my so, favorite uh, we'll comment is uh, John Cena versus the Big Show. Yes, John Cena versus the Big Show: The Rise of the Sea Nation. Now, was John Cena was he still like doing the whole thug Doctor of Thugonomics thing at this point? Yes, he's okay. still the Doctor of Thugonomics, okay. as you can see in this fitting picture right here. Now, where did he get his degree in that? I don't know. Who, and I'm almost who, who like, I can't PhD, remember. Who did he do his PhD under? I need to know his credentials. <laughs> um, this whole feud is basically John Cena could have won the Royal Rumble, but Big Show eliminated him, and now John Cena wants the U.S. title to fight the Big Show. U.S. title, that's like one of like one of the undercard, mid-card, or mid-card titles, right? It's like Yeah, mid-card titles. It's sort of like, it's like, it's sort of like, 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 on, the, like on the level like the Intercontinental, right? Yeah, like you're pretty good, and maybe you'll be good enough to get right. 
the big titles, but right now... No, not that, no, like, is it one of them was on Raw and one was on SmackDown? Yes. I'm pretty sure the U.S. title was on SmackDown. Okay. And I want to say Intercontinental was on Raw. All right. Just like I think the Heavyweight Championship, which used to be the WCW Championship, yeah. might have been on SmackDown, and the WWE title would, would have been on Raw. But those were eventually unified. Yes. Okay. Recently, actually. Uh, those get reunified and then broken apart repeatedly. Okay. Anyways, so we'll get into this match. Uh, legal Due to legal issues, we can't hear the excellent uh, basic Thugonomics song, but here comes John Cena. I just, I just looked it up. The lineage of the uh, WWE United States Championship actually goes back to um, Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. Oh. Which was all, which was sort of a, also a predecessor of uh, WCW. I see. Oh. So yeah, here's a uh, heel Cena, the John Cena that modern WWE fans pine for and will likely never get. How long has he been a, f a, a babyface? Uh, he's been a face since the rise of the PG era. So I think seven or so years. Okay. Um, I remember back in this era, he would do like some like you know some like uh like impromptu like raps before matches. Some of them which were really foul, like dirty. Yeah, you know what? He might have been one longer, but he would have been more like an anti-hero face okay. instead of the traditional baby face. Okay. Um, but I know that they chose him as the front man with the PG era. Now why why, man, why him? The, um. I think because Benoit died. Really? Okay. I couldn't tell you for <laughs> and, certain. And a pole falls over the let's play. Is, <laughs> as, as, like, no, no, we, I'm, I'm not even the joking. Of human I'm, life. I'm sorry, I do what? recall reading in a bunch of books that Benoit was considered one of the the top performers before his passing. Oh, oh he was tremendous. Yeah. And you know what? I think Eddie Guerrero might also have been considered one of the front runners too, because he he had actually cleaned up from his yeah, druggy that's, days. Yeah, that's the sad irony about Eddie Guerrero. He'd actually gotten off drugs, but it was like just like accumulated cardiac damage, right? Yeah. That that, that was a, that was a real that was really sad when I heard that. That that fucking sucks. Yeah, and he was on his upswing too. Like, I don't think his career had ever been better. Yeah, he yeah he was when he was starting to right. really hit his stride. Now, I'm trying to remember if the um, Guerrero Mysterio SummerSlam match for the <laughs> for the kid. for the custody of of Mysterio's child. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if that the was match where they like, put, like how long that was before he died. Where they that wasn't all that long. I, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, the, the epic that... battle where they 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 put the title deed to the child <laughs> in a suitcase <laughs> and just hung it over the ring. To date, that is the only match that I've ever been able to convince my non-wrestling friends to watch. <laughs> because like, cause I just tell them, and they're like, why do you watch wrestling? I'm like, because it's stupid and awesome. And they're like, what makes it awesome? I'm like, there are these two Mexican guys who were like, hey, I want this kid. Let's fight over him by having a, a ladder match. And they're like, that didn't happen. And then I showed them. And they're like, oh my god, this is the, so dumb, but so great. Oh, but yeah. they won't watch the and rest it was a, of it. And it was a really good match, as I recall. Yeah, it was. Lots of spots. And I um, I think Eddie actually hurt his ankle because there was kind of a botched okay. uh, bump he took. All right. Falling now, from the... Okay, so this is just a standard uh, pinfall or submission match. Yes. Uh, what, what, is your first, um, what are your objectives? So this first one is to get Big Show to critical damage and then AA, uh, attitude adjustment, the renamed uh, for John Cena's FU. I assume uh, that's, I, and, and was it still the, was it still the FU? It was still the FU at this point, though, right? Oh yeah, but they they, they don't like to acknowledge that. Okay, so so it's kind of like how they fuzz out like the WWF logos. Yeah, because of all the penises. Right, exactly. Um, it's actually really funny that they do this because they like John renaming John Cena's moveset is probably like the laziest thing ever. Because, okay, so they change uh, FU to Attitude Adjustment. That's great. But they change his um, they change his submission hold mm -hmm. from the STFU, which okay. obviously stands for, you know, shut the fuck up. Stow that, to... stow that freaking underwear. 
Yes. <laughs> I was struggling for something as well. To just STF, and, like, it doesn't stand for anything. Okay, yeah, that's just... That's and then just what's, shut the, what's shut worse the fuck, is... Which is, if anything, even fouler sounding. <laughs> oh, God, I'm, I'm getting mangled. Um, what's worse is that his signature move, the uh, much like the people's elbow, is just called the five knuckle shuffle, which has never been changed at all. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the five knuckle shuffle. And he like he still uses it like in the Fruity Pebbles commercials where he's like five knuckle shuffle to your face. He's in Fruity Pebbles commercials. Yes. Well, Hogan did like vitamin commercials back in the day. Yeah, and pasta commercials. Hell, Kane. Media. Kane does did pasta commercials too. Oh, I need to see. I need to see this. <laughs> I need, Those what, are great. I need to hit YouTube tonight and find that. Was it like as? I mean, was it as Kane? I... Yeah, it was the masked cane. Oh wow! And so now I'm gonna hit him with the attitude adjustment or fu, and then pin him. That is impressive. So this lifting, was John that Cena's. That is impressive lifting the, a man the size of the Big Show up onto his back. Yes. And so you'll remember. Oh shit! Something about to happen. Uh, this is. I think the commentary is supposed to be going. Oh yeah, there it is. He picks up his chain. Is this is it, was this the match where the brass knucks end up coming into play? Uh, I don't know. Yes, it, it is. I remember this. Oh. Savage brutality with that foreign object. A <laughs> a big show again. Oh, what the hell? Uh oh. God damn it. Uh oh. Oh no. Choke slam. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. I always I always love the choke slam just as a maneuver. Just yeah. conceptually, the idea of like you're grabbing a guy, crushing his throat, and then lifting him shoulder high. Yeah, you did not tell me that they put a choke slam in the raid, and when I saw it, I cheered, and I, you know, I was by myself watching it. So it's like it's like a move Darth Vader would do if he was a wrestler, you know? <laughs> Force choke slam. <laughs> if this is a counselorship, where is the ambassador? And then, bam, down to the canvas. He's so good. That was a terrible Vader impression, by the way. <laughs> that was just like a Bane impression, more like. <laughs> Oh God damn it! I missed it again. Not Son of a the bitch! Truth about your father, Luke. No, <laughs> I am your father. You know, I, I think my Bane impression when I'm trying to do, actually do a Bane impression gets worse. <laughs> I think that's how it is, though. Come on, get up, you son of a bitch! Um, so this is John Cena's WrestleMania debut, Don't be too I think. Proud of this technological terror you've constructed. Oh fuck. And, um, yeah, God damn it! get up, you son of a bitch. You know, it occurs to me that, like, when you take the prequels into account, hmm. Vader kind of had, like, it's kind of like The Rock's career, where initially he was a face. They tried to sell him as a face, but no one liked him as a face. But then when they yeah. turned him heel, he was really cool. Yeah. Because, I mean, when you think of all the movies where, you know, Anakin Skywalker is supposed to be a good guy, and you just want to slap the shit out of him. Really bad, But yeah. then when he comes striding down that corridor in the, in, in the original Star Wars, he's awesome. Yeah, I don't... Everybody loves uh, Darth Vader. Nobody likes Anakin Skywalker. Right, victory. Is it... Which belt was it that he that he put, like, that whirly, spinny ma ma majig on? I, that's, that, that's I think it's the WWE belt. title. Okay. I know that that spinner belt has been around forever, and it was The Rock who changed it to its current cool-looking belt. Uh, anyways, Cena has the U.S. title now. Um, they recreated the um, Hogan body-slamming Andre the Giant by having Big Show um, put, put Cena over by having Cena... Oh, a, a, oh, that's what they're going for? Having him, like, have him yeah. fight, like, the huge Colossus? Yeah. Okay. And it worked. If I, you know, I mean, if, if, uh, 
I imagine when you were there and see, you know, Cena was actually kind of popular at the time. Um, I remember so that, enjoying the match quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And so there would have been a pretty good pop for that. According to uh, Wikipedia, John Cena has the highest num has the fourth highest number of combined days as WWE slash WWF champion. Surpassed uh, only, by, surpassed only behind like Bob Backlund, Backlund Hulk Hogan, and, and Bruno San Martino. San Martino, right? San Martino Which go is presumably goes back cheating. to when it was the WWWF Worldwide Wrestling Federation. Yeah, but I mean, San Martino and Backlund were back when they only exchanged belts at like. Uh, yeah, yeah, they weren't. The belt wasn't being passed around like a Christmas fruitcake every every couple of weeks back then. 